Okay, so here is example six, or another example, um, for class four in ME 401 slash 501. We have three position graphical synthesis. All right, so the idea is that we have now three lines, and we want this uh, design a mechanism that will have um, make the coupler, or make anything, but in this case, well, it's the coupler, uh, that's going to be in these three locations. You have to choose the locations carefully because it's not necessarily can you always make this happen. Um, so let's uh, proceed, right? So here is um, where we, uh, we go from there. Okay, this is interesting because I have, um, you can't really see these lines. I've made the um, uh, uh, PowerPoints hoping that you could like uh, walk, we could walk through them. But anyway, let's see, let's go through this together. Um, so, first thing that we do is uh, we draw lines. And we don't want to do too many of these at once, right? So, uh, let's do this line right here. And I have to move you up to use the compass correctly. We will bisect bisect and make perpendicular let's try not to here and there. Oh, we didn't do a great job of getting that one. hearing somebody's phone buzz like that and I keep thinking it's mine but it's never mine no not mine what are you gonna do all right so um and I think we actually want to keep this one continuing down a little bit more so um I didn't do a great job of getting through there so you want to be a little bit more careful uh that you actually get through um Let's kind of like get rid of some of these lines. We don't want we don't want extraneous lines or too much of them. I mean, we want to kind of keep them there uh, to to show our work, but we don't necessarily want them in our way. Um, and I might actually don't like that line all that much. I want to I want to fix my thingy. Uh, so let me try again. Make sure the compass is out to the full extent here. And ooh, what happened there? Oh, I see what happened there. Its knee, it's knee was bent. I might start using the ones I had from college. Those were better than this. Okay. And old man can't see very well, so. And I use a really thick lead, which doesn't help with your precision. Okay, so it made it through. I want to clean it up a little bit just to not leave any chaos. Um, now I go between D2. Yes. Um, and making our little arcs. All right. I keep using that same thing here. Well, oh, I just actually just pushed the push that thing down into there. I hate that. Think. Oh, getting very close. 
closely at there. Where that connects right here, we're going to make as one of the grounds. Now we're not done. We want to make this third position right here to there. Nope. I messed up. We're okay with that one. But what we need to do, what I need to do is bisect this line right in here. Right? So I need to, um, this is uh, also one of our issues here. Oops. There to there. There to there. that up. Damn. Hopefully I'll get it right here in the class. It's actually it's gonna work out okay. Okay. So right here is going to be the uh, the spot for this linkage right there. Boom. It's going to be in between here and here. Here is the second position that it's going to be in. And here is the third position this will be in. Okay, so it's going to be in all three of those positions. Now we want to do the same thing. We need to clean up. This is going to get in the way. We need to do this in between, okay, so we already did between uh, D1 and D2. So this line is the one that we associated with D1 and D2. Let's do one between D2 and D3, all right? So I hope I didn't mess people up too much by um, jumping out of order. I should have done everything here. Let's see, we come up to there. Whoops. There, there. Now let's go here and whew, just barely gonna make it there. Okay, here to here and there to there. And there's gonna be the connection for a linkage that's gonna be from here to right there. All right, that, so right here is, we'll call that O2, did I call it O2? And right here, we'll call this O4. And just to demonstrate, here is the second position of O4. And right here is the third position of O4. I said 04. This is so. Here's um, he, here is the uh, um, we'll call it, it just depends on which link you want to call this right here. But let's call this link two, this link three, and this link four right here, right? Okay, so here is um, the first position of link four, here's the second position of link four, and here's the third position of link four. So you can see that we've been able to move this thing between those three. So let's um, find this. And uh, maybe it's this one. Uh, no, it's not. Um, I think it's this one. I called it the example three in here. But this is the motion of line for three positions. And uh, one, of, one of the casualties, okay, so here, here you go. Um, this, yeah, okay, so here it is um, with a driving dyad placed onto the piece that allows me to motion between these three locations. But we do have a, um, an issue when uh, we get all the way uh, up to here, that this could potentially flop into another one. There's a, it's, it's close to being a, uh, in a transition. So. I think in this one right here, I had it 
I purposely made it so that it uh, um, kind of went the other way. Instead of coming, instead of being pulled down, I had it. I purposely kind of made it off a little bit, so it got nudged. So it's not going to go into the right locations. So you can see that this is the same. It's the same linkage, but it's not going to go in the correct positions because it, it kind of toggled, just not quite toggled. Um, it, uh, uh, it chose a different configuration, right? It, it uh, chose to, because uh, it was like a, a change point mechanism. I think that's the explanation that I would give. And I've been leaving out some of these things. I don't know if I don't know if you can see these. I should have put these at the end of each video. Here's the original three desired positions. You could see these lines very barely drawn in there, maybe. Um, you could see where they connect and we make. So what we've done is we've bisected in between C2, C1 and C2, and C2 and C3. We bisected, we found the intersection there. And then we bisected between one, two, and bisected between two and three, and we found the intersection. And that, and this is, doesn't have any free choices because the hat, that's the only place where they can go, right? And so we defined that thing right there, right? And I'm just going back and forth in between with my uh, rollerball. And we'll do a uh, Grashoff check of this. Um, and uh, we found out that it was non Grashoff and it was a triple rocker. Um, and then I also I showed you that we could put a dyad in between this guy right here, right? And just force him to go between these two positions. Right, so this were me me making it in um, SolidWorks to demonstrate it, um, and it could go because of the change point. Here's the change point issue that could potentially happen, right? Because we were we were so close between that one and that one, you could just see the um, the small difference between there. So this is the next problem that we'll do.